Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the WM150 Watt Meter by Toolkit RC. You guys understand after following this channel how important it is in my opinion, to have a watt meter. Two of the questions I get asked all the time are, what watt meter should I use and where did I get mine? My watt meter I purchased like five years ago and I haven't seen it in at least a couple of years out there in the retail space. So I don't think you can get the one that I use anymore. But there are two relatively easy to find watt meters out there. The first one is a black one that's kind of kind of long and it's got a blue LCD screen, that thing shows up under a whole bunch of different OEM labels and it's just a basic watt meter. This watt meter by Toolkit RC has been showing up in more and more places. You can get it on Banggood and Amazon and a couple of different other places. Uh, GetFPV, they've got it. As far as watt meters go, they've really kind of upped the, upped the ante a little bit because on this particular watt meter they use a digital display, you know, a dashboard style, tachometer style, amp meter. Uh, they've got a histogram display on the screen. And they've got a dial right here on the side that acts as a built-in ESC. So you can test a motor without actually pairing a radio. You just plug your ESC into the side. Without any further delays, I'm going to show you what comes in the box and then we'll plug it in and test it out. In the box, you get a mini USB cable, a manual, and the watt meter itself. Now this watt meter does not come with XT60 or any other type of connectors. You have to decide which ones you want to use and solder them on yourself. I've already done that. I'm going to zoom in all the way so you can see what happens when you plug this in and what the screen looks like. There you go, the little Toolkit RC logo. And then you've got your ammeter or amp meter. I call it an ammeter. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, not exactly sure what that is. There's a signal cycle on the side with the pulse width, the voltage of the input battery, the capacity. I think that means the amp hours used, the time used. And I know that on the early copies of this device, they didn't keep the max amperage and wattage after a run. So after some complaints out there, they went ahead and did a firmware update that, that stores the max amperage and wattage after a run. And it just occurred to me that these three meters are for the watts. So one thing I'll say on first look is that the screen looks bright enough. I don't really see a problem with the screen brightness in a, I'm in a relatively well lit area. I don't know how this would perform in bright sunlight. I'm guessing it wouldn't be great. The other thing that I'll say is that the print is very small. So if you wear glasses, you're going to need them on this one. That's, that's the one kind of gripe that I would have is that while they cram a lot of information on this display, the print is really small. So you, you are, if you, I wear glasses. So in order for me to see what's going on there, I've got I've to have my glasses on. All right, let's do a little test. You guys may have remember I built a little battery discharger. And the way I've typically used that is I plug a servo centering tool into my ESC and then my watt meter into the battery and and the uh, mains of the ESC but in this little arrangement you don't need a servo centering tool so I'm just going to set that aside and I'm going to plug the ESC lead from my test stand directly into the WM150 and by the way the max amperage on this device is 150 amps which is astounding given how small it is and 50 volts I think for most model airplanes, this has plenty of capacity to test whatever it is you might need to test. Okay, so all I've done here is I've got my battery plugged into the source side of the watt meter and my ESC plugged into the load side, and then I plugged in my three pin ESC connector to the side of the Toolkit RC. Okay, I've already calibrated this watt meter to my ESC so I'm just going to spool it up and let you see I've got it zoomed in pretty far so you can get a good look at the information that pops up on the screen so I'll spool it up a little bit and let you take a look at how it operates and we'll spin it down and, and close out the video
right? So as you can see, 7.4 amps right there with 82 watts. And this is not a charged battery. This is a stored battery, so it's not. That, no, you know, I'm not testing here is the, is the point. And I did see on this left-hand gauge where the, the green bar started climbing. So it looks like the wattage measurement in bars is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So I don't expect that purple to move too much, but the yellow and green, maybe. M mostly green. Yeah, you can see that. You can see that green start to climb. Let me plug a four cell in here and see if we can do a little better. Okay, you can see on the side, 15 volts this time. I'm gonna spin this up with a four cell and take a look. All right, so as you can see, the little histogram scrolls by. I'm not sure if that's amps or watts. I'd have to read the book, honestly, to tell you that, but there's a little histogram. It's kind of, it's cute, but I don't know how useful it is in analysis. I mean, you know, maybe if you were, I, I honestly, I just don't know what the use is in terms of analysis for that. I, I get what I want by watching it and making sure that I don't have fluctuations. I don't, I don't need a histogram to tell me that, but, and it's not saved. So I don't know, that, that seems kind of gimmicky to me. But I do like that it keeps the max amps and the max wattage uh, on there so you can see what's going on. And then again, the voltage of the battery on the side, the capacity. So it's fine. I mean, as far as a watt meter goes, this does the job. I think the only, the only gripe I have about it is that I would personally would rather see that histogram go away and see these fonts be a little bigger. And the amp gauge is kind of cool. The little watt meter thing is kind of cool. But... Again, from a functionality standpoint, I really just want the data. So I, I do appreciate and applaud their efforts at presentation, but to me, this is form over function. And eh, you know, <laughs> that's not always a winner when we're talking about analysis tools. While I think it's competent and it shows you what you really want to know, I would like things like the font to be bigger. Maybe even if they just had another screen that just, you know, got it, did away with all the screen decoration and just showed you what you're really after and that's volts, amps, watts, and even the capacity used during the trial. All right, otherwise, you know, it looks like a fully functional watt meter and I think it'd be a good choice. These run about $34. You can find the more generic blue LCD versions for about 17 to 18 bucks. You just have to look around a little bit. So if you wanna spend a little bit more and get something a little more fancy with a little bit more of a graphic representation and the built-in <laughs> throttle control, which I think that's cool. Now keep in mind, you know, if you buy a standalone servo tester, you're in it for another, I don't know, what do you, eight, 10, $12. So this kind of combines both the watt meter and the servo tester in one unit, which is, that's not terrible. It's a nice clean configuration. It's very easy to operate, very easy to understand. And uh, I think it's effective. I do like the peak amperage at 150 and the peak voltage at 50 volts that's that's cool all right guys that wraps up my first look at the toolkit rc wm150 watt meter i hope you enjoyed the content and if you did i would definitely appreciate your subscription down there at the bottom and don't forget to hit the notification bell because my big project that's on the way should be here in the next day or two and when i get that video up you're not going to want to miss that one and that's all i've got for today guys take it easy Anyway, hope you enjoyed the content. God dang, man. I hope you enjoyed the content, and if you did, I would appreciate your subscription down at the bottom. And don't forget to... Man, this is god-awful. I would definitely appreciate if you hit that subscription button down at the bottom. And don't forget to notify... <laughs> See? Even now that when I'm getting it right, now the material doesn't want to play. <laughs>